So this next joint is going to be a little bit different, what it's going to be with screws. Now what's the domino have to do with screws? A lot of times when you're dealing with man-made materials like MDF, wafer board, particle board, you can, I mean, getting a screw in it is really easy, but the screw doesn't have as much strength because there's not much strength in the material itself when you're putting it into tension and you're pulling on that screw. So usually it's a bad idea to put anything like that against a material like this. But with a domino, you can reinforce it. The way that we're going to do this test is I have two pieces of MDF. I'm going to put a three-quarter spack screw uh, most of the way in. It'll leave a little bit out in this piece of MDF. And in this one here, we're going to reinforce it. The way that we do that is we plow a hole with, for a domino, put a domino in there with glue, and then you put the screw in. Now, okay, at assembly time when the glue is still wet, you probably can pull it out pretty easily. But we're going to let the glue set a bit, and then we're going to go ahead and try prying it with a pry bar and see the difference in pulling the screws between these two boards. There we go. Now let's put a screw in each of them. We're going to let the screw stick out a little bit so that we have a way of prying it off. So we'll give it about, uh, we'll put it in about a half inch since that's probably about a dimension that you would use if you were actually making a cabinet with this. I'm just going to put this aside so this gets at least about an hour for the glue to firm up. You know, more of a real life situation where you've got the glue hardened up and then we're going to try prying it a little later. So these have been curing for, I don't know, three, four hours now, so the glue in this domino is set enough. So we're going to see how difficult it is to pull this screw out that doesn't have any domino reinforcement, and this one here that does. So I'm going to try clamping these down so that... I'm trying to clamp these down because I don't want to just have it flatten and it's kind of bending the board. I don't want that to be an effect. This is going to keep it steady right around where I'm doing the prime. A little bit of muscle. Okay, that was, uh, I don't know why I put two hands. I didn't need two hands. So that pretty much popped itself right out without any effort whatsoever. And that's actually what you would expect from based on what everybody says about things like MDF. You can see that it just, as the threads came up, they just took some of the layers with it because the layers are kind of more pressed together with who knows what holding it together. So this is the unreinforced joint. Now let's go take a look at the screw that has the domino. Hopefully I need a little more effort on this one. What I need is more clearance. All right, let's go for a little, see how this goes. So while it didn't exactly hold it in, you can see that you had to take off a pretty massive amount of that stock that came along with the domino. I mean, you had to basically rip the whole domino straight out. So if you were trying to sink one of these things to make sure that it was going to actually uh, give the most resistance, I'd say mortise it the whole distance so you can tuck that domino in right straight flush. I, mean, I left it out intentionally for the video, but you can see how much all this thing had to just crumble apart. Now it does turn out that while the glue is really well set around the sides of the domino, the sort of pool of glue that you get at the bottom is still wet. So uh, it might have done better had I left it overnight. But overall, it was a, a lot harder to pull apart. That, that one I needed two hands. No, I didn't need two hands. I didn't. 